Hello again. Um, I thought I would tell you today a little bit more about what Walk Your Weekends is all about. So Walk Your Weekends is my way of helping you get out of London into some of the most amazing places to hike in Britain in your weekend or in a long weekend. And as you know, I love weekend walking. And I really recommend it because it means that you can you can go out into the countryside regularly throughout the year, explore some brilliant places in Britain that are totally unforgettable, classic hiking areas, and you won't miss out on this by living in the city. You will be experiencing it more than a lot of people in London would. And it's a really great way to explore Britain and get to know it. So if you're new to Britain, or maybe you have just moved here, or um, you just want to explore a little bit more um, of the countryside of Britain, this is a fantastic way because it will take you to some incredible, beautiful places. And places that are like classic hiking areas, but areas that most people in London will never go to see, most tourists in London will never see. You will be there in the in the evening in this lovely little locals pub by the fire with your pint and um, just relaxing after a lovely day, um, overhearing all the locals talking about what hiking uh, things they've been up to that day. It will give you a real feel for local Britain and a wide range of some of the best hiking areas in Britain. So I really recommend it. So it's kind of in between working all of this out for yourself from scratch so uh, reading loads of books researching loads of websites and and pouring over maps and working it all out train timetables bus timetables speaking to all loads of random people trying to piece it all together so that's on the one hand or the other hand is me actually being there taking you on these walks obviously you can hire tour guides to take you into different areas but if you want to go to a range of areas um, you might not particularly want to do that. Or you might just actually prefer working on your own or just with your friend or partner and not in a group, um, as I do, because I'm more of an introvert personality, so I really like working on my own and with one or two close friends. And the idea of going to these places in a big group doesn't appeal to me, because I like to walk at my own pace and it's my time to be alone and think and really sort of look at nature and things like that. I love walking with other people as well, but I know that a lot of a lot of you watching will really like to walk at your own pace as well. So it's in between working it all out for yourself and hiring someone to take you. So I give you all the information that you need to arrange 10, 10 brilliant weekends around the country. So there's three in the Lake District, there's two in the Peak District, one in Yorkshire, two in the South Downs and two in Scotland. And you also get some bonus itineraries as well. Um, I'm gonna give you Snowdon, how to climb Snowdon in a weekend, which is obviously Wales' biggest mountain, and Scorfell Pike, which is England's biggest mountain. So I'm gonna um, give you an itinerary of how you can get there, where to stay, what to do, how to, how to do it, how to get back. When I was working all this out for myself over the last 10 years of being in London and hiking whilst being in London, I read loads of books and loads of maps and guidebooks and things, but they didn't tell you how to get there from London. So you have to sort of, I had to piece it all together myself. And I'm just going to show you some of all of the books and maps that I researched in order to come up with all this. Hang on, bear with me a minute. So. That's one pile. And this is some of the other stuff. So I read all of these and I did loads of walks around the country and those weekends too. And I I worked out <laughs> I worked out ten uh, weekends that I would totally recommend to my friends if they were to ask me, where do I go to hike the best of Britain? you get immediate access to the 10 guides. Now these guides are extremely detailed. They will tell you how to get to these places. So trains, buses, how to get there in an evening from London or an afternoon if it's a little bit longer, uh, where to stay, where to eat, the routes that you should do, things that you should not miss out on, um, the best pubs to go to. Um, 
where to get your lunches, where the toilets are, all of the escape routes, um, alternatives to do if you for some reason can't do the walk that you wanted to do. So as I said in the other video, you have to have your equally exciting alternative for each walk um, if you're climbing mountains and fells so that you don't feel like your whole weekend has been a waste. So I'll give you alternatives to do if the weather is really bad. And I'll tell you all of the escape routes. So at different points during the walk, I'll put in the instructions, um, you know, if you want to give up, you should come off this way and come down into the valley or whatever. And I'll tell you how to get back, I'll tell you how to get back to London. So most of them are two day walks, apart from one, which is a three day walk. But most of the two day walks can be expanded to three days. And in one of the cases, in the Yorkshire one, I actually recommend that because the three day version is much better. So you can do them without using any of your holidays, which is really cool. It's what I actually did when, when I was doing these was I, I just used maybe one or two days here and there to, hurt, to expand my weekend if I wanted to. And I would go off after work and come back on Sunday night and be there on Monday feeling so good on the tube because I'd done something really amazing at the weekend. And I knew that it felt like it, I'd been away for longer than two days. It felt like a whole holiday because when you're out somewhere new in the countryside, you you experience things in a different way than you do if you're just walking your daily route to work, or you're on the tube, the same thing as usual. You're all, you're all in your head and the time goes whizzing past or it drags really slowly. But when you're out on a walk, you're, you're seeing all these new things and things are firing off in your brain. It feels different. So even if I'd been away for two days, it felt like I had had like a brain holiday. It was great you get full access to the 10 walks library and as I said they are really detailed guides they're actually quite long so it's I think it's in total it's about 40,000 words of information or more um, so I don't just leave you there with all of that to read I actually summarize it all and give you a way of choosing the best weekend for you which is the walks chooser so um, depending on what time of year it is, whether it's winter or autumn or spring or summer, obviously it's going to be autumn and winter soon, I will tell you which walks are best to do. And maybe you are a beginner, maybe you haven't walked two day walks before. I have, I know the weekend that you should do to, to get into the swing of it. Or maybe you want something particular from your weekend, maybe you want to see big mountains, maybe you want a, a really incredible experience, I will tell you which one to do. Um, I'll tell you which ones to do if you don't want to carry your um, clothes in your rucksack. Um, yeah, so that's another thing to mention is that some of them are point-to-point -point walks and some of them are where you're based in one location. But the point-to-point -point walks, um, for example, it might be following a section of a, a trail. You're only going to be carrying your luggage with you for one night or two nights maximum. So you're not going to be carrying very much. So you will be fine if you haven't carried that sort of stuff before. Um, you're not going to be carrying in close for a week, it's just going to be a couple of nights, so you should be fine. Anyway, so you get the walk chooser, so I'd help you decide which, which uh, one you're going to do next. And I will help you, I tell you which maps are the best to buy. So you don't actually get maps in these guides that I give you, because it costs thousands and thousands of pounds for, for me to put maps into these guides. So I can't actually do that because I'm just one person. But... I will help you to work out which map is the best to buy because it can be a bit tricky sometimes especially if you, you want to think ahead so let's say if you go to the Lake District you want to do one particular weekend and you go and do it and you buy the map for, for that area but then later on in a few months time you want to go back and do a slightly different area but then you work out that the map doesn't cover the area that you're going to now so you have to buy another map so would it have been better to buy a different one in the first place so Basically, I'll tell you which one's the best value for money to buy in each case and how many maps you have to buy and which ones to use to stop you all of that time spent looking at the maps going this one, this one, this one, blah, I don't know. Okay, and as I mentioned, we have a Facebook group where you can ask any questions about anything. If there's anything that you think you need more information on, you can ask me and I will try and do my very best to answer. And if you are struggling with booking anything on your um, for your weekend, I will try and help you research different options. So, 
if you want to do one thing and the place that you wanted to stay is all booked out, I will try and help you find an alternative. Um, and I actually do give alternatives in the guides anyway, but that's just an example of the kind of help that I could give you if you need it. I'm going to give you a talk through of each of the weekends in more detail. So I'm actually going to talk you through it and show you photographs of it. And I'm just going to chat to you as if we were in the pub and you came to me and said, Oh, I really want to walk in the Peak District. What should I do? Or I really want to walk somewhere that I've never been before. And I'll say, well, I've got this. And I will tell you all of the things that you need to look out for and tips and tricks. And I'll just, I'll just talk you through them so you get a really good idea of what to expect before you go. I'm going to tell you what to do if the weather is terrible. So with each of the weekends I give you alternatives, as you already know. But I'm going to give you a bit more information about how to prepare for the British weather and to cope with anything that it throws at you. Because you do not want it to spoil your weekend. Because you don't get to go to the hills very often because you live in London so you really want to make the most of it and to um, survive the weather and just enjoy the weather because you know the weather is part of Britain Britain we always love talking about the weather so I'm going to talk to you about that and I'm going to suggest some practice and preparation um, tips that you can do if you want to prepare for your weekend so this would be useful if you've never done two day walks before um, so I could give you some suggested walks to do in London so that you can train up and improve your fitness and feel more confident in going out into the real countryside to do your two day weekend. And I'm going to talk to you a bit more about transport, so how to get the best train tickets, um, how to find out where the buses go from, what times the buses are, so I actually provide you with the information on um, the bus times and things, so how to find out the bus times, but this will give you information on how to work it out for yourself if you want to plan a walk somewhere else that I haven't provided. I'm going to give you my tips and tricks, my do's and don'ts for weekend walking. So it's going to be all of my lessons learned through bitter experience and happy experience of walking my weekends, often on my own, um, in these places. So. Um, I'll provide you with some tips and tricks. I'm going to provide you with information about safety, how to stay safe out there on the hills, really important, especially if you're walking on your own and especially if you are conscious of the weather being bad or just it's just important to be aware of anyway. So I'm going to give you like a checklist so that you can be really confident about your safety. And I am going to give you my packing talk through. So I hate packing for, <laughs> in general, but I hate packing for my weekends as well. It's just so boring. So I found a way of making it easier, which was to have a standard checklist of everything that I usually take with me. So I'm going to talk you through what I take. Clothing, equipment, um, first aid kit, um, essential things to take with you, optional things to take with you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to talk you through all of those things so that if you are fairly new to this you can, again, feel confident to know what you want to take and you can follow my list or you can adapt it. You could use my list to go shopping if you want to stock up on some hiking gear. I'm going to give you your bonus itineraries, yay, which is how to walk Snowdon and how to walk Scarfell Pike, the biggest mountains in Wales and England. I'm not going to do Ben Nevis, probably, although I might do, but Ben Nevis is actually included in one of my weekend guides anyway, so that is a, it's like a three day walk, which includes walking Ben Nevis, so I probably won't do its own separate itinerary for Ben Nevis, but if you ask me really kindly, then I might just do that, so I'll see how that goes and see what people want to do. And you get lifetime access. If any updates need to be made to these guides, so there are sometimes accommodation issues from time to time, I need to update my links and things, you'll get access to that for as long as I do this, you will get all of the updates for free. Uh, the next time that I run this, I'm going to add more bonus itineraries, so you will get all of those for free as well. So basically you're in and then you just you can just keep getting all the goodies next time I run it. So, is that everything I needed to tell you? I think so, but I would love to help you. I'm so passionate about 
walking and helping people get out of London into the countryside and if you want to save yourself all of the time searching searching and reading and planning and all of that stuff which is what I spent 10 years doing then well not all the time obviously but I've done it over 10 years then please join Walk Your Weekends I would love to help you um, to have the most amazing weekend I'll just be so excited to help you find and discover these places that I love so much and that you'll remember forever I I just find that when I think back about these walks that I've done I can remember them so clearly I can almost picture each path in my mind it's like ingrained in my mind so much um, yeah I just love it so I would love to share it with you if you have any questions then please let me know I'd be happy to answer them and I'm gonna put below this video a quick bullet point summary of everything so you don't have to spend ages reading all of the big uh, website that I put up with all of the detailed information if you haven't got time to do that so thank you so much for watching and thank you for watching all my videos this week. I have really enjoyed it and I hope you found it interesting and I hope that it's made you want to get out there and go hiking and it's definitely made me want to do more hiking because I'm ironically spending a lot of time doing these videos at the weekend rather than hiking so I need to follow my own advice but first, first I'm focusing on walk your weekends, I'm going to help you. So yeah, um... I'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next video or in the next email and thank you so much for being here, I really appreciate it.